welcome to Gyanomatics. In today's video, we will be talking about stubble burning. Stubble burning is not a new issue. It has never been. And we keep talking about stubble burning every now and then, every year. And despite of the fact that it has this great impact on the environment, it has now been just reduced into a blame game, sort of a contest between political parties. Well, among all of this chaos, here is a news coming from Haryana and the news states that Haryana has been winning the fight against stubble burning not recently but for the past six years. According to the data and according to a popular news media outlet, Haryana has reduced the incidences of stubble burning for the past six years by about 55% and if you compare the data with last year, you'll see a drop of about 30%. Now how has this been possible and how it becomes important for you? So if you're preparing for UPSC, if you're preparing for any other exam, even if you have some sort of interviews coming up, you need to learn about the approaches of how to manage stubble burning. Because stubble burning is not just an environmental concern, but it has its impact on um, uh, the socio-political issues of the society. We talk about innovations and we talk about using baler machines, but nobody talks about how costly they are. And no farmer would really want to take the blame of uh, Delhi choking on himself. Koi bhi farmer jo hai, wo jaan ke ye nahi chata hai. And uh, we have a large chunk of our farmers who are small and marginal farmers who have small land. They're not very rich. They are not zamindars, not a lot of farmers at least. And ek ek baler machine jo hai, each baler machine, it costs about 15 lakh and it is not really very feasible for a major chunk of people. So, here is innovation that Haryana has brought a new innovation where they have created a sort of mechanism where private entities or private owners of balers will tie up with these farmers and they would take care of the crop residue of these farmers for free. Yes, they would do it for free for the farmers and the crop residue which would come out of these baler machines would be used by these private entities to be sold to um, uh, you know various industries where this particular crop residue could be used in an environment friendly manner one of the biggest examples of this is um, selling this crop residue to cardboard industry haryana has been doing it and also selling this uh, to ethanol plants and a lot of other plants of or for the mulching of animals. So this is how Haryana has been dealing with this and they have come up with a solution because this is not something rocket science. We all know that you know crop residue could be used for a lot of other factors but why have we not been able to channelize these solutions? Now the solution has always been for people to come together and here we see private entities and farmers coming together and making a win-win solution or situation for both of them. So this is a great approach by Haryana and I think a lot of other states would also incorporate this approach and even you can use these approaches in your answer writing as well as if you go for interviews and somebody talks about stubble uh, burning with you. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.